Hello, hello everybody. This is Sheila from Simply Simple Creations by Sheila and today I'm making over this little chalkboard. As you can see, it was starting to be painted plum and I think I got it at a thrift store or maybe it was gifted to me. I'm not 100% sure, but it was somebody had started to paint it plum and obviously I didn't want it that color. So I'm taking my buttercream by Dixie Belle and I'm giving it a good coat just to cover up that plum and also to give my rice, we're gonna put some rice paper on this and I want it to have a good backdrop. So I'm gonna cover the front, the sides, the back, the handle, get it all good um, with just one coat of that, like I said, Dixie Belle buttercream. You can use white, you can use whatever, or you can leave it natural, but like I said, that one had purple on it. Next, I am taking this AB rice paper. It's number, what does it say down there? 1842, either 1842 or 1342. I got it from scrappiesrustics.com. So if you're interested in this rice paper, go to scrappiesrustics.com. And I just took my water pen I honestly, to be honest with you, I don't know why I used my water pen. I could have done a straight cut on this because I'm going to end up sanding a lot of it off. And um, it, it would have just been easier just to cut it. But I don't know. I guess I wanted to do it the hard way. Um, but look how easy it is with the water pen. You still have to be careful because, as you see, it kind of ripped a little bit. But that's okay because these these are forgiving. So I got it where I wanted it down, trying to figure out if I which way I wanted it to go. Couldn't. There was a rip in it, so I decided I'd flip it that way and then just sand that part off. So then I'm taking my decoupage glue by Pintart. I also get this from Tracy with Scrappy's Rustics. And then I'm just going to put this down in sections. And y'all, I really didn't edit this video a whole lot just because I did put it down to a three-minute video. So if there's parts in here that you don't like, you can just kind of hit that 10-second button and it'll put you through to them or if you get what I'm, get what I'm doing. But I did um, try to cut it off and not make you watch me do everything. So... As I'm sanding, you can see that some of that purple started coming back through or that plum color, but we fixed that in the end. So what we, um, I think I used to just, I used an ink pad is what I did, but I really do love this, this rice paper. And this is just a sweet little project. It wasn't anything major. Um, then I, there, yep, there's my ink pad. So I took it and I just went around and that just hid that purple that went onto it. If you don't get it perfect around those edges, it's okay. You're gonna, we're gonna hide that here in a second. I took some, what is that stuff called? Lamb's ear and I hot glued the lamb's ear down. And y'all, I haven't made a bow for y'all in a long time. So I did do the refab bow. So I just crisscrossed it. I cut it down. Um, I really wanted that to be my bottom piece, but I was using two types of checks, so I ended up putting that in my middle piece. So you really can't see my back cloth or rib what is that stuff called? Ribbon. Very well. Good grief. Um, so then I just take a piece of jute twine and then I cinch it together and um you have a cute little bow. And I just kind of messed with it and fluffed it around and got it to where I liked it. I cut down the edges because I did get it a little bit tight before I had it centered, so I had to cut my edges down a little bit to make it equal or even. Um, it was still a little bigger on one side, but that was okay. And I glued it in the middle, and that is what I've got. I cut off all the little loose strands, pulled them apart. And what do y'all think about this cute little cutting board? I love it. Y'all have a great day.